everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I'm here today to review the tracking results for the month of October and November uh, for the trades called in the live trading room. I have the room open every day from 8.30 to roughly about 11 o'clock Eastern time and I call the gap trades in the morning live each morning when I'm doing them with the entry, stop, and exit. If you have questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP or you can email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. If you'd like more information about the classes that I offer, you can feel free to go to my website as well, www.thestockswoosh.com. And you can also look for me on Fox Business Network where I discuss stocks and the market. So day trading and becoming successful day trading is really about chunking it out. You just take every day as it comes. I never know when I get up in the morning what I'm going to do that day. I have a system that I follow daily where I will rate the gap and then I will determine if it's a good long or short, but I mostly focus on shorts. And you really have to take it day by day. Whatever your goals are when you trade, it is very important to look at it as a bigger picture, which is per week, per month. Some days you get up, there isn't any trades that meet your criteria, and then I don't trade. So that's how you kind of have to look at it. Some days are really big days. And so every day is different in the market. It's the best way to look at it, I think, by chunking it out. So I have a system that I use. It's called the Golden Gap System. If you're interested in learning the system, you can email me for more information. Going back, starting at the beginning of October, trading results 10-2 was off. Scheduled to be on TV, 10.3 was TTS, a good one, 1,500 profit. 10.4 was TIVA, 3,000 profit. 10.5, no trades. 10.6 was cost, $1,100 profit. Weekly total, 5,600. Average per day, 1867. All of these trades involve an advanced risk of $1,000 minimum, just so you know. If you cannot afford to risk $1,000 per trade, then you cannot do that. Then risk what you can afford. Still very profitable trades and calls using my system. And you can follow my trades and size yourself differently. 10.9 was cost, $3,400 profit. 10.10 was Dow, 6.25 is small one, but still worked. 10.11 was a loss in HDSN, WMT was a winner. 10.12 JPM was a loss, TIVA was a winner. Nice one there, 1800 TIVA. 10.13 was a TV day off. Weekly total, $6,525. Average per day on that week, 16.31. Another good week there. 1016 SPY was a loser. Apple was a really good winner. 1017 HOG was a loser. NWY was a winner. 1018 SPY was a loser. IBM was a winner. 1019 Apple was a winner. 3285. And 1020 GE was a loser. And CLG was a really nice winner. 2800. Weekly total that week was big. 11,205. Average per day, 2241. So October was going along here. 1023, Matt was a winner, 1250. 1024, G was a loser. Logi was a loser. Matt was break even. 1025, Juniper was a loser. AMD, big winner, 6,300. 1026, CLG. First trade actually was a winner. Just didn't have the exit fast enough. But there were some people in the room that got out. Redid it again. Really nice later trade in CLG, 6,600 profit. 1027, TV day off. Weekly total, 9,350. Average per day, what? 2,337. Again, looking at the results, looking at chunking it out day by day, taking it as it comes. 1031 MRK was a winner. 1030 or 1030 MRK was a winner, 900 profit. 1031 UAA was a loser. QCOM two trades were both winners. That was a good short that day. So October's totals were 35,080 bucks. Pretty nice month. Worked hard for it. Average per day, 1949. Again, most of these trades are in the morning, very quick trades. Some were a little bit later holds, but that's rare. And it was only a few days in there. I do prefer to get the trades in the morning. November, off to a good start. 11-1 DDD was a winner, 1,200. 11-2 was TV day off. 11-3 was a radio day off as in Fox Radio. 11-6, there were no trades in my criteria. 11-7 was trip. Really, really nice trip. Moved down short. Opened and swooshed, 3,960, 11.8, snap, 16.40, 11.9 was AMD again, 10.50, and 11.10 was Disney, which actually was long, 15.75. So the November totals running through 11.10 is 9,425. So, so far, October and November trading results, this is earnings season period here, is 44,505. Really looking forward to this coming week, 
should be a big week in the market, a big week for gaps right before the Thanksgiving holiday, which tends to be slow in the market. So this will be a big, big week to be very active here uh, this third week of November. If you're interested in my method, you can learn my class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The dates of the class on November 18th and 19th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $49.99. That's $4,999 US dollars. If you're interested, you must email me for registration papers to fill everything out and sign up. You can email me at melissa at the stock If you're serious about day trading or doing options with my method or trading for 2018, I suggest doing this class. I may I may be doing one more class before the end of the year, but I don't know because I don't have my television schedule yet for booking. So the bottom line is that if you really are serious about trading all of the calendar year 2018, I would sign up and do this class if you can November 18th and 19th. It's been a very good 2017 year in the room for, for my traders, for myself, and I expect 2018 to actually be better. I'm a, I've been trading now for a long, long time, and uh, it, it is true, the more you do something, the better you get. And all the opportunities that have been coming my way, I've been taking advantage of, speaking on radio and television, and that's really helped my own confidence and conviction to continue to, to make great calls. So empower yourself to trade the market. It's very, very important to believe in yourself and what you do. We'll talk a little bit in the webinar Monday night about emotions and trading as well. If you're interested in more information about what I do, feel free to reach out to me, call me. I'm still making myself available to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know how long that will last as far as timing with my schedule. But for now, if you really want to talk to me, you can still reach out and email me or call me at melissathestockswish.com or 929-3200-GAP. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.